Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV featuring the 2011 Key West Poker Run. Today's helicopter coverage is provided by Florida Power Boat Club member John Woodruff from Atlanta, who's flying his Bell Long Ranger Windship, and later in the show, he'll be piloting his 48 Cat on the run. After picking up their first poker card at Grove Harbor Marina, just a few miles south of the Miami skyline, the boats mill around and await the start, which is led by our pace boat. The group was broken up into two groups today, a faster group, which will lead the charge at over 100 miles per hour, and a second group that will be cruising anywhere from 60 to 70 miles per hour. With the group up to speed, there's nothing more exciting than seeing this pack break into a nice formation heading for Paradise in the Florida Keys. Kicking off this segment is Phil Rizzuto from Louisiana, who just joined the Florida Powerboat Club and making his first official Key West poker run in his 36 Nortec Supercat, powered by big Sterling engines. David Beach is from Franklinville, New Jersey. He's been joining us for these poker runs for almost four years. This is a 37 Outer Limit Stiletto, a model that pretty much got Outer Limit started in the late 90s. Here's Tom and Kate Hofstetter with Skater Nation, one of our new Key West Poker Run sponsors. This is a brand new custom built 482 skater powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. This is truly the ultimate skater to own. This is Jerry Howell all the way from Searcy, Arkansas in his 39 Nortec Team Fueler. I'm sure that some of you remember the King of Clubs, the official pace boat. This is the exact same model, a 3900 Super V. We welcome back Leon Ordemann from Team Thunder. This is a 46-foot skater, which Leon recently took back to the skater factory, had it all redone, and it's just like a brand new boat now from cockpit to helm. John Woodruff's having a blast up on the chopper today as he gets the big long ranger into the zone for these upcoming aerial shots. We saw Tom Hofstetter just a minute ago, and now here's the other half of the Skater Nation partnership. This is Dave Peterson, and he's running this 40-foot skater powered by Big Sterlings. We'll find out more about Skater Nation just a little later in the show. Here's Ralph Hitchcock from Miami. He attended these events many times in this 35-foot Miami-built motion cat powered by Mercury Racing 525s. Glenn Sawyer is from Kentucky. He's relatively new on the poker run scene, and he got bit by the bug right from the start, running this super fast 47 Outer Limits GTX powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. Rick and Dana Day are motorsports enthusiasts from Alabama. They've been in the sport for a while. Black Gold is a 36 Nortec Super Cat, and one that stands out so well, they won Best Paint and Graphics. These images remind me of just how fantastic the conditions are today. With blue skies, warm temperatures, and light winds, it was just a perfect day to be out on the water. Now we're catching up with Don and Alice Lightfoot from Texas in this 43 Nortec Super Cat, powered by twin turbocharged chief engines that put out close to 1,300 horse each. After hanging back near the Card Sound Bridge to gather up the fleet, Chris Bradley pushed the throttles and got his Nortec 40 Roadster up to speed for the final stretch of the morning run across Barn Sound towards Jewfish Creek. Chris and Angela Bradley are from Texas. We first met them up at the Florida Panhandle on the Emerald Coast Poker Run. At these speeds, it doesn't take long to arrive at our first stopover at Gilbert's in Key Largo. In fact, from this view, you can see there's about eight or 10 boats that jumped ahead of the pack and they didn't even get covered. Gilbert's is a popular place for a Florida Powerboat Club. We don't actually overnight here. It's just a great place to tie up, settle in for a nice lunch, and uh, feel the immediate warmth and the casual vibe of the Florida Keys. The staff here at Gilbert's have always rolled out the red carpet to our poker runners. And the stop here also provides captains with the chance to pump a little fuel in these thirsty machines. Okay, let me rephrase that. More like a lot of fuel. Once again, the buffet lunch from Susie and the kitchen staff at Gilbert's was absolutely superb. Thanks, gang. Howdy, guys. 
While the majority of our poker runners enjoyed the Key Largo stopover, our friends from Skater Nation were mapping out a different course back to Miami, where there were several other skaters coming in for the Thursday run. Tommy Hofstetter fired up the big skater 482 and cruised back with wife Kate and the crew of ladies that seemed to be enjoying the ride. Hey Tommy, you better get out of the shot, man. I think our viewers just want to see the ladies. We'll be right back with more of the Key West Poker Run right after this on Power Boating in Paradise TV.